For me, MindEd is a fantastic opportunity to get professionals across the piece, from teachers and nursery nurses, to youth workers, to medics, nurses, and actually, if we can open it, to parents who are concerned, and young people themselves. What is mental health? What's the spectrum from, from being perfectly fine to having moments of being absolutely not fine to being really, really ill and needing a specialist? And what can professionals across all of those professions do to equip themselves better to help and support those young people? That's what it's about. And we have to get it to the stage where it's not something you're scared of and where it's treated as seriously as physical illness for children and young people. Well, I've come here today to be at the launch of MindEd, which I think is a fantastic uh, resource, which could be of enormous value to a whole range of professionals and indeed others who are dealing with children and young people uh, to help un them understand uh, children's mental health uh, problems, how to un identify them, how to talk to children about them, and how to get access to the right services. And I think the wonderful thing is that it uh, brings access for a, an enormous range of people to the very best brains uh, on children's mental health uh, in their own home, in their own office, uh, and this is potentially enormously powerful. It's really interesting to see something so new and fresh coming out of an issue which seems so old. I think what uh, I can really hope that people take away from today is the knowledge that there is a resource available for anyone to look at for children and young people's mental health issues and that there is a platform where they can be supported. I work in public health in Hertfordshire and as we move forward into integrated working with schools, with a third sector, across health and social care, what this will enable us to do is really inform all of those professionals out there that come into contact with children and young people about the issues around the seen and unseen mental health issues for children and young people. I think it's just so important that people realise that as much as doctors and psychiatrists and all these people can help people with mental health issues, that also other people in children's lives, like their teachers, like their youth workers, they all have such a big influence and that and if you have that whole team working together supporting a child then they'll just any child with mental health issues will be able to have a normal life just like any other child does. Yeah and I think something that a lot of people took away from today is that mental health should be treated the same as physical health. Um, teachers, youth workers, anyone in the care of a child should have not only like first aid training, training in child protection but they should have training in mental health. It's just so important and it's so hidden. That's why training is so necessary. And yeah. It's been beautifully supported by um, the Department of Health and RCPCH, but it's actually a vehicle for understanding, for teaching, for communication, for awareness. I think it's fabulous and it has the potential to grow and grow and grow. MindEd is providing the specialist information that we need to get into schools. Uh, professionals deserve to be supported. If they're working with some of the most vulnerable children and young people that we have in school today, uh, we need to give them the professional support that they need to do that. MindEd is going to provide a really good service to people and take away some of the stigma and scariness that surrounds mental health so people can think, oh I've got a resource here, I can look at it, I'm a bit more knowledgeable now, I don't have to be shy to go and ask for help and I'm more able to go and help myself and other people and not be scared about it. So we're really fascinated by the launch of MindEd, so that's why we're here today to learn more about it and also its application um, with anyone who works with children and young people. Um, and I think for us, we're very passionate about kind of um, young people being able to seek help and also people being aware of, of what help there is out there for young people. And as a signposting organisation, I think this can really help to, to break down some of that stigma about you know, recognising when young people have things wrong and then also knowing what to do and how to help young people to improve their wellbeing. I think today has been a fantastic opportunity for everyone to get together and really get excitement about the project. What I really hope they'll do though is take the materials home and get everybody signed on to them and get them logged on because the whole platform is nothing if nobody uses it. So we really need them to go out and use it now. I really hope people will take the notion of working together for children and young people, of bringing together all the skills and knowledge and the advocacy that people have uh, in relation to young people's mental health, um, that they will be thinking about how they can use the resource of the portal to, to, to bolster that and to develop that, and ultimately how we can all do better for children and young people in this country.